Nations are gathering in Durban, South Africa next week for the next round of climate change talks. Developing nations and those most vulnerable to climate change are calling for strong commitments of emissions reduction and funding from the world's richer nations. Past meetings in Copenhagen and Cancun have failed to create a lasting accord to confront climate change, and scientists warn that time is running out. A new report from the UN's Agency of Climate Scientists, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, predicts extreme weather will increase in the coming decades, including heavy rainfall and hurricanes, heat waves and droughts. Today we go to Nigeria, where climate change is already having an effect on the livelihoods of women in the traditional occupations of farming and fishing. Sam Alokoya reports from Lagos. Ocean waves are eroding Nigeria's Atlantic coastline and the mostly poor residents of Nigeria's coastal communities are living with the effects. Scientists say climate change is responsible for the rising sea levels. Ibeno, a large community in southeastern Nigeria, made up of several small islands, is one of the worst hit areas. Entire islands have been submerged, displacing thousands of their inhabitants. Many of those displaced, especially women, say they have become poorer because the displacement makes it difficult for them to continue fishing in a sustainable manner. Amua Tade is one of the displaced women. The ocean seriously affected us. All the children in school have returned home. They have sent them away from school because there is no money for their school fees. See the way I am dressed? See the shoes I am wearing? I have not eaten since morning. I am living on my past glory. This is how we have been affected. A woman clears wheat on her farm in Kanu, northern Nigeria. Like their counterparts who make a livelihood from fishing, African women who farm are also facing problems caused by climate change. In northern Nigeria and bordering regions, declining rainfall and desert encroachment which are both attributed to climate change, have seriously affected women farmers. The West African state of Niger has also been affected. Aminatu Dawada Anikoye, a lawyer from the country, says available water for farming has been declining over the years. Aninkoye, who is a legal advocate for small farmers, says women are at a disadvantage in securing access to the shrinking supply of water for agricultural use. The lands closest to the rivers are the most expensive. The prices of such lands have been on the increase because they contain the water that can be used for farming. Now where will poor women get the money to purchase expensive lands? We did a study and we found out that men are the owners of all the lands close to the rivers. The Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations says women are the majority of farmers in many developing countries like those of Africa. Experts say the effects of climate change on Africa's food security would negatively affect the continent's women farmers because of their role in agriculture. Desmond Majekudumi is an environmentalist with the Lagos-based Nigerian Conservation Foundation. You have food, um, food scarcity because of the inclement weather. Uh, crops will no longer grow as well as, as they should because crops are used to certain timings, you know, schedules of, of rain and water. And now those schedules are being disrupted. And this will definitely affect food security. And women are on the front line of, uh, of the food procurement and food marketing. So it's affecting our women folk. Industrialized nations are mainly responsible for greenhouse gas emissions. But poor countries like those of Africa are the ones bearing the brunt of climate change. Developed nations had in the last years made several promises including the provision of $30 billion between 2010 and 2012 to enable developing nations to adapt to climate change. 
a report by the International Institute for Environment and Development, released ahead of the Climate Change Conference in Durban, says the wealthy nations are not fulfilling their promise. The London-based International Research Organization says the implication of this is that poor countries will find it harder to adapt to climate change caused by the actions of others. Sam Lukoya, FSRN, Lagos.